Hello, welcome to a new video from Autobot YouTube channel. So today we are going to understand about two of the main important concepts in UiPath. Okay, so that is variables and arguments. Okay, so many of the people who are working with UiPath automation are still having fear of the confusion regarding the usage of variables and arguments. That's the reason for creating this video. Okay, so if you are not familiar or if you are not sure about the usage of variables and arguments, please uh, watch the entire video and try to understand uh, the concept properly because we are going to cover these uh, two uh, features that is variables and arguments uh, with a practical demo. So we are going to automate calculator and we are going to convert that to workflow and we are going to pass uh, the arguments as well as variables and I will show you what is the major difference between variables and arguments and where you can use arguments. Okay, so this uh, practical demo will give you a clear cut understanding about these concepts. Okay, so let's move on. I already opened the calculator and before to that, let me go to the uh, document which UiPath has provided. Okay, so arguments are used to pass data from a project to another. Okay. In a global sense, they resemble variable as uh, they store data dynamically and pass it on. Variable pass data between activities while argument pass data between automations. Okay. As a result, they enable you to reuse certain projects time and again. So here uh, the one thing that we need to understand is variable can be used pass the data between the activities okay within the same flow if you want to pass data between multiple activities you can use the variables okay and in the last video we have seen uh, the concept of invoke workflow file as well as invoke process right so invoke process we can use to call an another project uh, which is the orchestrator or in the local and if you want to pass some argument uh, or some value to that particular uh, another process what you can do you can declare the argument and you can pass the value okay you cannot pass the value using variables if you're going to call an another project okay same like that within the same project if you want to call up an another workflow okay you cannot pass it via variable okay there also you'll have to use an argument okay so if you want to pass the value between multiple activities you can use variable but if you want to pass the data between different workflows or between different projects, you will have to use uh, argument. Okay, so I hope you are clear about that. And uh, let's move on. And uh, in UI path, it will allow us to create a variable as well as a argument with the different format. Okay, so few of the data types are generic value, string, boolean, object, array, data table. Like that, we can create it of a, a different method. Okay, so if you're going to create a variable, you don't need to provide the direction uh, to the variable. Okay, so there is no column for providing the direction. You just need to provide the name, variable type, scope and the default. Scope is nothing but uh, whether that scope need to extend to another activity or within the sequence or within the workflow like that. Okay, so that is the sequence. Sorry, that is the scope. And argument is nothing but like... Uh, um, Inside the argument, you have to provide the name, then direction. Direction is nothing but you can provide four types of direction. One is in, out, in, out property. Okay, so you can create a new uh, argument, whether it's like a in, in uh, direction. It means you are going to take a value from the main workflow to this particular flow. Okay, then the value uh, or the variable which you are going to provide here, that value will get passed to the argument one. If you are going to use the in direction. Out means whatever the value that you are going to get in the argument one, that value you are going to pass to an another variable. Okay. In out means you can use the same argument for getting the value as well as for outputting the value. Property means if you create an argument with a uh, direction as property, you won't be able to use that argument in the flow. Okay. But it can be used for the later use. Okay. So that is the purpose of a property. Okay. So I hope that is clear. And uh, yeah, so here one important thing is like for creating the variable, one shortcut key is you just need to click on Control plus K, and uh, for creating the argument, you need to click on Control plus M. Okay, and uh, so that will create like a create in argument, 
and if you want to create an out argument you can click on create out argument by uh, 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 entry control plus shift plus m okay then another approach is either you can go to this uh, panel click on variable and you can directly click on create variable and you can create a new variable or if you want to create an argument you can click on this and you can create a new argument okay so i hope you're clear about that let me do one thing go to remove and use and here the one thing is like in case in your automation process if you are creating some uh, anonymous or uh, variables and arguments which you are not going to use in your automation process okay so to clean your project what you can do you can go to remove uh, uncleaned uh, unused and click on variables as well as argument okay then it will clear all the unused arguments and variables which you created in your project okay so let me go to uh, remove unused click on argument delete everything okay so now you can see it has cleared all the argument but uh, variable also i think it got deleted no variable is still there so let me clear that as well okay so now you can see all the variable and argument got deleted and uh, this is the way to create uh, the variable and uh, this is a way for creating the argument okay and if you want to remove the unused variable uh, and argument you can go to remove unused and clear those things okay also uh, through this button you can remove the unused workflows dependencies involved screenshots everything okay it will help to clean your uh, project okay so that's it so uh, let's uh, start with our uh, demo for that as i mentioned i am going to use uh, the calculator okay so what i'm going to do is let me record the action okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get two values from a uh, user input and i'm going to add two values and i'll be getting an output and i'm going to display it in a uh, message box okay so that's what we are going to do uh, we already did a similar kind of uh, automation in another video and here uh, through this demo we are going to understand the difference between variable and the argument and the usage of arguments okay so let me record this app bar web recorder indicate an element okay so let me do one thing let me click on three okay three plus okay six okay then equal to okay we are going to get the result as 9 and uh, go here and we need to get the test right get the test that's it and uh, let me post the execution save it okay so whatever the action that we recorded everything got captured here here it is opening the application then it is clicking on uh, number as 3 then here uh, it is clicking on plus and here it is clicking on uh, 9 uh, sorry not on 9 uh, 6 and here uh, it is clicking on equal to simple and here we are getting the result okay so save to <coughs> how we want to save it okay so let me do one thing let me create a variable for that i'm going to click on control plus k okay so here you can see set variable okay so suppose if you want to create it like a, a uh, argument what you can do if it is an in argument you just need to click on control plus m okay then you can see set argument but here i'm going to create a variable okay so control plus k and uh, let me name it like out okay so that's it and if you go to variable you can see a new variable got created and it is of type string and the scope is under do so do is nothing but uh, inside the application scope you can see a sequence is there with the name do that's the scope okay and uh, that's it and what is the next step we need to get the input from the user right so input input dialog okay what is the dialog title enter the first number 
enter the first number okay so input label and all i'm not going to enter here i'm going to create a new variable and uh, the variable name is num1 okay i'm going to copy the same activity again paste it here enter the second number okay i'm going to create a uh, new variable num2 okay so here you can see it created two variables and what i'm going to do is here instead of clicking uh, one uh, static value we are going to replace that particular value with the uh, value which we are going to enter okay or which we are going to input so let's go to type uh, target <coughs> okay and here the selector i'm going to choose only uh, the fussy selector okay go to fussy selector open in advanced editor number three button right uh, okay do one thing go to sorry not here for the sector right okay okay so do one thing uh, choose only selector and remove the fussy selector and just click on this selector okay here um, okay so this three name equal to three is there so just remove that name equal to three what is it name equal to three just try to validate yeah that is correct so what i'm going to do i'm going to replace this so just select it right click okay use variable what is the variable which i'm going to use that is num1 okay <coughs> and override default value confirm <coughs> validate that is correct click on ok okay so that one is done and uh, <coughs> let's go to here it is clicking on the plus button here it is going to the second one and uh, second number let's choose only selector okay click on this it will open up the explorer then here just remove the name equal to six name equal to six and go to this six number and right click use variable i'm going to use num2 override default uh, value confirm just validate it yeah that is fine click on ok save it okay and uh, is clicking on equal to simple and we are getting the value so that is fine now do one thing mm, we are getting the output right and what i'm going to do is let me output it in the message box okay so that's it just save the flow and here we haven't created any argument okay so everything we created as a variable because we are just going to input uh the values here and we are just going to <coughs> pass that to the uh, calculator and we are going to get the output result okay so this has this is going to happen in a single flow so we have we are not going to create any argument okay so after uh, the execution i will show you how you can replace this with the argument by creating a workflow okay that i'll uh, show in the uh, coming uh, minutes so let me execute this run file enter the first number i'm going to enter it like three okay uh, second number seven three plus 
7 equal to 10 it should output the result yeah we got the result as 10 okay so we successfully uh, completed the execution so what has happened we entered the input okay we entered the first number and the second number and we passed those values uh, and we were getting those values in the num1 and num2 variable and we converted the static selector of the click 3 number and uh, this click activity to a dynamic selector right by passing these two variable and after that it is doing the calculation and we are getting the value and we are just outputting it right so here we have entirely used the uh, variables okay so now what i'm going to do is let me do one thing let me delete this message box activity okay and this use application just click on this and right click and i'm going to extract as a workflow okay so it will create as a uh, new file okay new saml file so i just clicked on create okay so now you can see it has created a uh, new saml file go to project and here you can see use application calculator to xml and let me go to me and uh, here you will able to see it has invoked that particular workflow okay and let go to uh, import uh, uh, import argument and here what you can see it automatically created the arguments okay with the same name it automatically created the argument okay so i hope that you're clear so in this case if you execute it will pass the value from uh, the input which we are entering here and it will pass to uh, this num1 and num2 argument okay then it will do the calculation and and if you want to get the output okay if you want to get the output what you can do for that what i'm going to do is let me create a new variable out okay string <laughs> just keep it like this and uh, inside this use calculator just go to argument here i'm going to create a new variable out sorry new argument out and the direction we need to keep it like a out and string okay save it go to main import argument okay so now you can see it has auto mapped okay so the one thing that you need to keep it in mind is like if you are going to create the argument with the same name as of the variable it will auto map okay it will auto map and now i am going to use a message box activity here and let me output the value out okay save it I run the file so it will ask for the input value i'm going to enter it like seven sorry seven okay and next number is eight Okay, 7 plus 8 equal to 15 it should give and it should output the value okay so i think there is an issue we didn't output the value save to out out argument and uh, we are going to output this value to this okay so do one thing we already have an out variable right so let me delete this okay save it now it should work fine okay because earlier uh, in this particular workflow there was a variable with the type as out. that's why uh, with the name as out that's why it was not outputting the value okay. let me execute okay five 
7. Okay, so we should output the value as a 12. Okay, so now we got the result as a 12. Right, so uh, let's go to the workflow again. So what we did, we created two workflows, right? One main.xml and use application calculator. And we are calling this use application calculator inside main.xml, right? Using invoker uh, workflow activity. And inside the main.xml, we are getting two input values that we are capturing inside the variable. That is number one and number two. And um, after that, what we are doing, we used the invoke workflow activity and uh, inside that we created three arguments right number one number two uh, and out uh, argument you can name it anything okay that is not a not a problem but inside the import uh, argument you need to map it properly okay that is the only thing if you if you're properly given the same name okay uh, for the variable and argument it will auto map and if it is not of the same name then you will have to map it okay and here you created a three argument number one number two for getting the value from main.xml and passing two selectors and out for getting this value and outputting that and displaying it in the message box right and if you go to uh, input argument you can see we mapped the argument to the variables okay so these are the variables of main.xml and these are the arguments of use application calculator.xml okay and we are outputting the message box okay so here what we did we are passing the value from main.xml to an another workflow okay so that is possible using the argument okay so that is possible using only the argument and in case instead of this argument inside use application calculator if you're going to create a variable over here you will not be able to pass the value from main.xml to use application calculator okay it will be possible only if you create argument inside use application calculator okay so i hope that is clear so variable you can use to pass the value between the activities inside the same process and argument you can pass you can use to pass the value from one file to another file or from one project to an another project Okay, so that's the purpose of argument and that is purpose of variable. So I hope you are clear about the concept of variable and argument. And if you are a very beginner uh, and if there is any confusion regarding this uh, variable and argument, uh, please try to do this very sample example because this will give you a clear cut understanding about the usage of argument and variable. Okay, so I am repeating again like you don't need to. Uh, name the argument uh, same like uh, these variables okay it's not mandatory you can uh, name it anything you can name it anything it's up to you but you need to properly give the direction and and the argument type as well as during the importing of that workflow you need to properly map the argument and the variable okay otherwise you will be getting an error okay so i hope you are clear about this variable and uh, argument feature in uefa so this is not only applicable for uh, any of the rp tool okay so if you are uh, working with any of the programming language also you need to understand the concept of variable and argument uh, properly then only you can call different functions and we will understand like how to pass this uh, argument to different uh, functions and how you can call different functions by passing these arguments okay uh, so i hope you are clear about this concept if there is any confusion please do comment in the comment section and if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye